Welcome back to the channel guys. Today uh, we won't actually be going over my actual portfolio. As you can see it was down today much like most of the Dow. Today we're going to be talking about Walgreens stock. Um, as always be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out a growing channel like this. And I can't thank you guys enough for leaving uh, a lot of nice comments on my last video and encouragement. I uh, love you know, seeing those subscriber counts rise and uh, just having that interaction with you guys uh, really means a lot. So without further ado, let's get into Walgreens. Also, if you guys have suggestions on future videos you would like to see, please be sure to let me know. Walgreens, I'm sure most of you guys have heard of this stock. It... Um, actually merged with Alliance Boots of Switzerland at the end of 2014. So the Walgreens that we're all thinking of, of course, has existed since 1901 when it was started in Chicago, Illinois. So Walgreens, huge pharmacy company, retail, drugstore. You basically see these all around corners in the United States. Very common company, $50 billion market cap. But as you can see, just in the last three months it's down or last year it's down 14 percent but just in the last three months it's down almost a quarter of its total value and the reason for this drop was last week on april 2nd when it announced its earnings the company basically cut its profit guidance for the whole fiscal year 2019 to roughly a flat adjusted earnings per share they originally were projecting around a 7% growth, but now they expect to be just in line of 2018. Walgreens will also be buying close to $4 billion back in share buybacks, and it announced that it actually won't be doing anywhere close to that number in the future. So that obviously scared off a lot of investors, and they downgraded and quickly sold out of this stock. And Walgreens has said that they are trying to focus more on cost-cutting measures, which I don't really understand because don't shouldn't every company be trying to focus on effectively cut costs? So I do think that uh, Walgreens hasn't reacted very proactively to this. They're kind of reactive in terms of they don't really have this long-term vision, I think, for the future in terms of being innovative. So that is definitely hurting and catching up to them now. The retail sector just in a whole has gotten hit uh, very hard in the last couple of years. It's just either been stagnant sales or not much growth in general. And a lot of this has to do with Amazon. They're getting into the pharmacy industry as well. And the decreasing price of prescription drugs because of a lot of pressure for Washington, D.C. has also hurt Walgreens. Donald Trump has made it one of his priorities to reduce the prices of drugs. Um, so obviously that means lower margins for a company like Walgreens if they're not able to sell their drugs for higher prices. And in terms of net income, Walgreens has consistently been hitting around $4 billion plus or minus one in the past four years. So that's, that's usually a pretty good sign. Uh, very good profits there, uh, consistently been doing that. Their debt ratio is about 1.65 with $68 billion in assets compared to $41 billion in liabilities. So not too bad of a balance sheet, but like I said, it's very pessimistic on the future of this future growth of this company. I'm not really sure what they can do to get this price of the stock to keep on that upward trend here. I can say that Walgreens has consistently been paying out dividends. It's actually increased its dividend for 43 straight years. So definitely a dividend aristocrat. In seven more years, it will be a dividend king. And you'd be very surprised to learn that Walgreens has an extremely low payout ratio, only pays out 29% of its earnings to shareholders. So I can see for the foreseeable future them continuing to increase that dividend. And at a 3.23% yield, that's not too bad. I uh, definitely think it could go nicely into a dividend portfolio. But just don't expect this stock to continue to appreciate. I actually think it might continue to fall down, but could remain mostly stagnant. I think it'll be similar to Coca-Cola where it doesn't really rise or drop too, 
too much, not too many fluctuations. So definitely not a bad company. Uh, Might have been a lot of overselling, but definitely a industry that's going to be disrupted a lot in the future here with Amazon. And I'm not questionable management in terms of what they're going to do in the future. But the company has been around since 1901. So and of course, being a dividend aristocrat, you always got to give them somewhat of a benefit of a doubt. I personally don't think I'm going to add it to my portfolio just because I see better value stocks that have uh, more chance of having that capital appreciation and in addition to paying dividends. So I won't be investing in Walgreens, but let me know if you guys are. 